What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Destiny. Now it's really early, it's 5 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time in the United States. And it's Friday and that means that our good buddy Zer is back in the tower. So today we're going to see if Zer can continue his good fortune that he's had the last couple of weeks. It's been a really couple of good weeks for Zer ever since it was revealed that uh, his inventory was predetermined and was being leaked, you know, despite what Bungie had said. And they kind of had him have some good weapons for a while. So, if you guys are looking for Zer, he's actually hanging out in the tower over in the area by the speaker. He's off to the left here, all the way in the corner. Just look for all the blue names as usual. And let's see what Zer has brought this week. Ugh. And it looks like Zer is back to his old ways. But there's a couple decent armor pieces here if you are looking for some, so let's just get right into it. First off, we're going to start with the Glass House. Uh, this is a Titan Helm. Uh, this is for the Defender class. And you can see it has Rain Blows, which increases your melee attack speed. Great defense. Quintess Quintessence Transfer. Plenish super energy when you kill enemies with grenades. And you have Bathed in Light, which increases the duration of your Blessing of Light, Weapons of Light. This is actually a pretty good Titan helmet. It's one of the be better Titan exotics. The only thing I don't like about this is it looks like a third grader designed this with some crayons, uh, an art class, and it is that nasty green color. That only goes with about one shader, and that's the Glow Who shader that you get from doing uh, hard mode Crota. But if you can stand your Titan looking like looking pretty terrible, then that's a good uh, good helmet to wear. Uh, it's not quite as good as Helmet Saint 14 for the Defender, but it's a very good Defender Helm if you don't have Helmet Saint 14. Alright, Hunters, you get the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets. Got a Discipline of 83 on these. Taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. Increase your reload speed with special weapons. And increase super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. These are actually a pretty good Hunter Exotic if you don't have anything else. Uh, they're not bad. The, uh... The making you invisible from a melee attack actually works really well in the Abyss uh, for the Crota Raid. But overall, these just don't compare with any of the Hunter Helmets, which are really the best Hunter exotics. So, you know, if you've already got a Hunter Helmet, I would pass on these. But, you know, if you're if you're looking for your first exotic as a Hunter, these are you, you could do worse than these. These are actually halfway decent, so not too bad. Warlock, so we get Sunbreakers again for what seems like the millionth time. Um... These are basically for the Sun Singer. You see Intellect of 85. These increase the duration of your Solar Grenade, which is okay, not a great perk. Increase your reload with special weapons and melee hits replenish grenade energy. Uh, for the Warlocks, these are not really all that great. There's a lot of other Warlock exotics I would take over these. So, you know, again, if you're looking for your first exotic with a Warlock and you play a Sun Singer, maybe not a bad purchase, but you can probably pass on them. And now for the weapon. So Zer is back to his basic disappointment here. <laughs> He's had a couple really good weeks. You know, Red Death, he had a Hard Light. Uh, I think he had Mita multi-tool last week. And now we've got Dragon's Breath. This was a rocket launcher that came out with a Dark Below. Uh, basically looks like an old like World War II bomber. It's a cool looking rocket launcher and it's got some interesting perks on it. Uh, you can see here you got some different launch options. You've got tripods, so it can hold three shells, which is decent. And it has quick draw, javelin, and heavy payload. You probably want to go with javelin here, or heavy payload, maybe to get that blast radius max. Now, the interesting perk here is pyromancer. Basically, whenever you shoot one of the rockets out of this, it will explode, and wherever it explodes, it turns into a solar grenade, as if you were a Sun Singer Warlock, and it'll burn enemies for a little bit of time, doing some uh, damage over time. Not an amazing not an amazing ability because half the time the enemies just walk right out of the, the fireball. So, you know, it's it's okay. You can, it can be used situationally in uh, control matches or if in certain PvE events, but quite honestly, this rocket launcher is not the best. It's not worth an exotic slot because you can get much better uh, rocket launcher from the Vanguard, the one-way ticket. Uh, you got the Valedictorian you can buy from the Crucible Vendor, and then you have Radagast Fury if you're lucky enough to get that from the uh, Iron Banner. So there's three legendary rocket launchers right there that are just simply much better than this. And when you compare it to Truth and uh, Yalahorn, it's just not anywhere even in the realm of as good as those. So definitely pass on this. 
uh, you, you'd be better off honestly using a, a blue rocket launcher and saving your exotic slot for something else. So, pretty disappointing. But you know, at this point now, we've got most of the weapons that Zer's brought, so there's really nothing to be excited about for me, anyways. All right, so moving on, you've got your exotic shards. Uh, for you upgrading your exotics, seven strange coins as usual, and this week he has the uh, exotic chest engram. I'm going to try to get Heart of Praxic Fire, hopefully, from that, so I need to farm some motes of light this weekend. And moving on to his upgrades, he has the Acolophage Symbiote, Discipline Roll of 127. You've got the Lucky Raspberry, an Intellect Roll of 130. The Crest of Alpha Lupi, Intellect of 159. No backup plans, strength of 86, Apotheosis Veil, discipline of 100, the Sunbreakers with an intellect roll of 86, which is actually one higher than the ones that he's selling, and then for your weapon upgrades, you have Bad Juju, the Might of Multi-Tool, Thorn, Patience in Time, a Thunderlord, and Super Good Advice. And moving on to Curios, you've got Pulse Rifle Telemetry. Fusion Rifle Telemetry, Rocket Launcher Telemetry, you got your Plasma Drive and your Emerald Coil for upgrading your Sparrow, if you have one of those rare Sparrows, and then he has Heavy Ammo Synthesis again, so it seems like this has become a staple of his inventory again, he's carrying it just about every week now, so that's pretty much it for our buddy Zer. it's kind of back to the norm for Zer. not really anything groundbreaking this week, really the only, I would say, must buy if you don't have it is probably the Glass House. Uh, for the Titan Defender, but if you've already got Helm of Saint-14, then you probably don't need this. But uh, that's pretty much it for Zern. You know, at, at this point, I'm, in terms of my own personal opinion, I'm, I think I've just bought everything I already need from Zern, so I'm going to start stockpiling my strange coins for House of Wolves and hopefully be able to buy a bunch of new exotics when they come out. And about right now, the only exotics I'm really looking for from Zer are Thunderlord and Yallerhorn, which... I don't think he's ever going to have Yallerhorn again. I just have this feeling. You know, last time he sold it, <laughs> it, it, it kind of breaks PvE, so I don't think they want to put that in everybody's hands so easily again. But anyway, that's about it for Zur, guys. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you plan on um, grabbing anything from Zur this week, if you like any of his items. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go over here and hang out in the new Monarchy Lounge for a little bit. And, uh get warm over here by the fire pigs it's actually uh it's gonna snow where i live tonight which is crazy but anyways guys thanks for watching and i will see you again next time